Hello, well I'm going to be warping up my loom today, so I've got this little four shaft, yes it is a four shaft table loom, <laughs> it's absolutely tiny. So here's a closer view of my loom, got it second hand, I had to remake the top bar and put a beater on it as well. It seems to work, it's got this rather fun folk art around it, a woman here with a distaff. Four shafts, held up with these little things. I had to re-headle it all, so these are the little string bits which the thread goes through. Now to warp up the loom I've got some warping thread. I've chosen grey colour because it's fairly neutral and it will also match what I'm sort of doing here. And the idea is to warp the, the threads that go that way, on a bit of cloth if you like, and then the weft goes the other way. So you have to warp the loom up and it entails, it's quite a long job, putting lots of threads through this beater and then through individual heddles here, through loops and Vs, and winding it all on the back roller. I start tying the first one on here, I pass a loop of the thread through this beater bar, straight down here around this post, bring it back, get it through this beta bar, loop it over the rail and carry on. So that's the sort of broad idea. Once I've done that, I then detach it from the post at the end, wind all the loose threads onto here, but leave enough that I can thread up each of my shafts with the heddles, you know, the thread going through the heddles. What thread is on my lazy cake, just so that I can easily unravel it. I take my first piece and I'm going to tie it to this bar. What I'm now going to do is take it through my beta bar. That's like a little hook on it so I can slide this through the beta and pull my warping thread through. So here I go hook it over and I can literally put it through. I then drag it down to the post at the end. So I'll just swing my camera around. So I'm taking the thread and looping it around this post at the end. That's my first one in. Coming back this end. I then pick up this bit, just wind that in, tighten it up, turn it shifting. I then wrap this under the bar, pull a loop through and hook it through the next available slot in my beta bar. Just again, hooking it and pulling it, just the same as before. And then I take it down to the pole at the end, loop it over and carry on. I've got a few of my warping threads in position now, so it's probably easier to start to see what I'm doing. So here's my lazy cake with my warping thread and here is my front bar and that's my beta. So the threads basically go through the beta bar. At the moment they're just going straight through the middle of my shafts. I will be putting them onto these heddles a little later. Come straight down around this post and basically back again. So I've done my first bit of the warping. I have now got two threads going through each slot on my beta bar here. So just looped around this rod, tied at the end, tied at that end and go all the way down there and round the post. Now what I'll do next is I'll wind this thread onto this roller so I'll move that post back down towards the loom and gradually wind it on. I won't wind it all the way because my next task will be to 
thread each individual thread through the heddles, which is quite tricky and again quite time consuming. But I thread those through, I'll show you in a minute how I do it, and then I tie them onto this bar. Right, they're now wound on. As you can see, the post is very close now to the loom. So my next job will be to take each of these threads, put them through their respective heddle, and then tie them onto this beam. So doing a bit of maths at this stage, there are 28 um, slots here that have two threads going through each slot. So two times 28 is 56. So I've got 56 warp threads. I'm using four shafts on my loom. So fours into 56 go 14 times. So on each shaft, I'll have 14 heddles being used. And from the center, I'll have obviously seven one side and seven the other side. So 14 in total on each shaft giving me the 56 in total. <laughs> I have to say the maths, you have to sort of work it all out. Uh, but anyway, that, that's how I'm doing this one. So I now need to put on this shaft, for example, seven threads through that side, seven threads through that side. So how I'll be doing it is the first thread will be going through the pink, the second thread will be going through the yellow, the third thread through the red, the fourth thread through the wine coloured heddles. And I'll repeat that again. So the fifth thread will go through the pink, the sixth through the yellow, seventh through the red, eighth through the wine coloured, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, and so on. So I'll just keep that going across, going through each shaft in turn. So that's what I need to do next. So I'm now turn my loom around. I'm looking at it from the back. So I've got uh, 14 double threads, so 28 threads here on this half and 28 threads on this half. Just separating them out like that off the post just makes it a bit easier to see what I'm doing. So basically the ones on this side I'll be putting into the heddles here, the ones on that side into the heddles there. So I've got 28 threads, four times seven, for four sevens, 28, 20, 28 heddles there. So I've just put the warping thread through my first four heddles, the pink, the yellow, the red, and the maroon. And if I go in a bit closer, I think you'll be able to see a little bit more what I mean. So let's just look at this maroon heddle. What I've done, I've got the thread going through, each heddle has a little like loop in it. And I've got the thread going through that loop from the front. Ditto as you go back one, and it gets a bit difficult now because it will get blurred with the depth of field on this lens. But you'll see there's a red heddle there. And again, a little loop and the thread goes through that. Ditto the yellow. That's the general idea though, is to get the threads one by one through the heddles. Going as I say, pink, yellow, red, maroon and repeating that each time so the next lot will be the same you know the pink yellow red maroon it's quite sort of fiddly but once you get your sort of head round what you're doing and actually do it it's not too bad i think it's probably more complicated to see me doing this on a film than actually just try and do it yourself so at the moment my threads are all coming out the back here as i put them through the little loops there, I just cut them off here. And to help me get through the loops, I'm actually using this little heddle hook. So it's a little hook handle with a wire and it's got a little hooky end on it. And I can use that to get the different warping threads and pull them through those little loops in the heddles. Well, I've now passed all my warp threads through their heddles and I think I've got them all in order and I've just tied them into groups of four. So what I need to do now is tie them onto this back rail and then that would be the loom warped up. So they're all tied on the bar here. 
So now I just need to wind the warps back onto this roller. Right, so I'm all warped up now. That's my beta. So I'll start weaving from this side. Um, and then as I need more material, I bring it over, undo it here. I undo it here and wind it back onto here. So the finished cloth basically gets round on this end. I'll be doing some weaving next where I'll be shifting these shafts up and down um, and changing the order to see what sort of pattern I get. But I'll do that as a separate film. Always good to get the loom warped up. I've now got the exciting time of trying a bit of weaving. Well, that's all the warping up done. I hope that sort of made sense. And um, it's all ready now for some fun, the fun bit, the weaving bit. When I get onto the we weaving part, which I'll do as another film, I'll play around with these shafts and do them in different orders and see what sorts of different patterns we get. That would be rather good fun. Looking forward to that one. See you in the next film. Bye bye then.